I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on the swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way down. Here's the attack, aka Zach's reviews. We are back here in another video. And guys, today was episode 9 of Stargirl. Um. What a, uh, another great episode. Um, I really enjoyed this episode because we get a little bit more of a backstory on... I knew how we were going to get an, an individual episode of everybody going through, like, an individual episode, like, focused on somebody, on, like, you know, each member of, you know, the JSA, and, like, how it's... A, how, like, Eclipso is messing with them, and pretty much, you know, trying to tear apart the team because he knows that they're, like, they're very strong you know, like, they're very strong-willed, like, the old JSA members, but I think he sees that they're even more, they're, they're even as, as, as special as the original JSA members, because the original JSA members, we, like, we, we know that we're able to take him out, and I think that's why he's trying to take apart the team, also because he realizes how much of a threat Courtney is, and I feel like that's why he's having trouble really trying to get to her so far, we really haven't seen Eclipso mess with Courtney. Courtney, as much as he's messed with everybody else and taken everybody out, like, he took Yolanda out, he took Rick out, Rick out. I mean, the, like, Beth almost got taken out, but the goggles pretty much saved her Chuck, so, um, or Dr. McKnighter, so I'm, I'm really excited to see, um, you know, going forward in the season, seeing Dr. McKnighter, more about him being in the Shadow Realm, I'm excited to see more of, you know, and we didn't really see Beth much in this episode, you know, we, we had a phone call with her, because Courtney was, like, trying to, like, gather a plan together on using the goggles and using her staff to take out, you know, uh, you know, uh, Eclipso, but, you know, it never came to be because they pretty much it's an episode where, like, they're all getting messed with, you know, Barb, Barb's getting messed with, you know, uh, you know, Mike's getting messed with, and, you know, you know, Pat's getting messed with. The only one that's not really getting messed with and is, like, unwhammy, unwhammying people is Courtney. And I'm gonna let you get into, like, what was your favorite episode, like, what was your favorite part of this episode? Like, which part did you like the most? Did you like seeing the whole Barb encounter with, I don't want to say who, in case that's what my sister chooses, or did you like Mike's encounter, or did you like uh, Pat's? Which, which story? Um, of them, you know, getting tricked by Eclipso. I actually liked all the encounters, though. I did. Uh, my favorite was probably, you know, uh, I think, I'm going to say probably the whole Pat with, you know, the old J, you know, JSA yeah, members. Yeah, Pat, Pat, um, like going back to like decades ago yeah. where um Ted Grant who is Wildcat, Johnny Thunder, mm -hmm. Rex Tyler. Yep. Who else was John, um who else who else? Uh, Flat. uh yo uh why am I forgetting? Why am I forgetting? Um, Jay Garrick from you know the show The Flash, Flash. for people that watch that watch The Flash. Saw Jay Garrick, yeah, are the Jay Garrick that we always see. I think is the same Jay Garrick that from his Earth is the same Earth that Star he Girl. was on there. Yeah. So I I uh, think we that's also confirmed. Got Sylvester. Yeah, we got Sylvester. Yeah, of course. And this like. And we saw Shade. And we saw Shade. He was in Barb's car. No, yeah, well, we did see Shade in Bar Barb's car to, like, unwhammy Barb, but we did see Shade in, you know, Pat's flashback of warning the JSA that, you know, that this is more mystical and that he's uh, even yeah, afraid of Eclipso. Because, because Pat was going to get, like, Wildcat and all them that was with him at, um, Dr. Midnight's funeral. Yeah, it was at Dr. Dr. McKnighter's, uh, you know, daughter's funeral, remember? Because in the first episode, she ended up dying. Oh, they So were... it was her funeral. And that's pretty much what sparks them into, okay, like... And that's what really, you know, strikes fear in the shade. And uh, telling, you know, he wants to help the JSA yeah, members Pat out. Yeah, Pat was there, like, the rest of the team. But uh, Sylvester told him no, because if... If Shane wanted, wanted to fight, he wouldn't have been staring them down in broad daylight. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I did love the dynamic of, I was like, where the hell are you going? What's going on here? I was like, is there something shady going on with, you know, Sylvester? But he, but little do we end up, end up to find out that, you know, they're, they're taking, uh, they're taking, um, well, the people that went to go fight Eclipso were Green Lantern, I think, I forget who else they mentioned, it was like Green Lantern, I think they said... I don't even know. Let me know down in the comments below who, like, really went to go fight Eclipso, like, went ahead in them. And the only ones that were, like, in the room taking the, you know, the, the you know, like, you know, pretty much, you know, vote was... was Starman? Yep. Wildcat. And it was, uh... And, uh... Yeah. Power Man. And, um... Uh, Super Jay Flash. Garrick. Yeah. Yeah, the Flash. So, I really enjoyed the fact that, again... 
when they even when he even mentioned before they even took the vote, you know, he, Sylvester said that you know Shade told me he got back from you know being with Shade. He said that you know Shade told me the only way that really to kill him, uh, the only way to take him out and you know lock him away is killing the host. And that and then when you kill the host, Eclipso goes back into his you know the into the, into the you know the black diamond. And he and you know Pat's like we don't do that. That was the one code that we chose. Like that was, that's what makes us different from the villains. We don't kill. We we swore an oath. And he's like exactly. He's like yeah. There, he's like remember you told me there's always a way. And he's like there is. You're right, Pat. There's always a way. And he ends up pretty much in the boat. Pretty much, Pat thinks that Sylvester's gonna take his side. You know because the the Flash. You know Jay Garrick doesn't want to do it. And he's like I'm I'm against doing this. Pat's like I'm against it. And I know Jay is. I mean I know uh. Sylvester's so against it, so pretty much we 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 win the vote, and because you know you know the people that were down to do it but they didn't want to were you know Rex Tyler and and I forget who was Wildcat what is it Ted, Ted Ted Grant Ted Grant like they were the only ones that were okay with doing it, and then out of nowhere, uh, Sylvester's like I'm 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 well, I'm gonna do this we're gonna do this we don't want to but we have to like they threaten to do a club so took out all of them and pretty much he's saying that he'll come after our families he's like they're like we don't want to do this but we have to to protect everybody's families and that was a really harsh moment when you know we see you know Starman going through with it and he ends up getting in the car with pat again and pretty much you know he has blood on his star and that and apparently you know you know pat pretty much says that pretty much ruined the j the jsa yeah it split them all up and i told you that was gonna happen i told you that like my theory was it was like him, you know, his regrets were everything that went down, you know, when, like when, you know, he let almost himself get trampled on and stomped on by the whole entire team, especially, you know, uh, you know, um, Wildcat pretty much saying, you know, Ted Grant saying, oh, you're not, you were never a part of the JSA. Oh, you're, you're just the driver. And then Jay, and then Jay's like, that's enough or whatever. He's like, I'm just saying how it is, man. Like, you know, he's just the driver. And that really annoys me. And, you know, Pat never got the respect. And Courtney was right when Courtney even called Pat on, uh, on it. You know, you were always his sidekicks sidekick you know he never gave you respect you know you know Sylvester and the whole entire team and that's true they never gave him respect I feel like that was his one regret not speaking up and you know saying this is uh, this is how it's gonna go we don't stand for this and I feel like that's his one regret is that and not doing enough because of them not letting him do it and him regret saying you know I should have just done it anyways I should have fought for my place in the JSA I thought that was really his regret. And seeing the moment when he does explain to Courtney, you know, like, they were never the same again when they killed, and I don't want that for you. And that's pretty much what he was trying to say, and that's why he never told... That's what the secret was, is that they had to kill the host to put the back in the stone, and they don't want her, 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 her and the team having to kill, because they'll never be the same again. He knows, and I said, I even said while he was even explaining, saying, you know, you know, they didn't fight the, you know, the injustice until years later, and then that's how they were beaten because they were never the same again. I literally said that to you before you even said it. I said that's how they lost. They were never the same again. They weren't that unit that they once were because that one kill destroyed them. It, it, it destroyed their ins, like it destroyed the, who they are and what they what they fought for. And that's so true because when, when we saw that fight, they just couldn't. They weren't winning. You tell they weren't really in sync. You tell that they just weren't in it. And even Pat knew it. And they didn't get back together until years later, until the, until the Injustice got back together. And by then, I mean, they were already in sync, already doing stuff, and that's how they were able to beat the JSA. And that really goes to show that, like, I mean, he, Pat just didn't want Courtney to go down that path. Because Courtney's just so, like, keen on, you know, taking out Eclipso, but he doesn't want her going to that route of, we don't, I don't want you to kill, because look what can happen. It can snuff out your brightness, and that's what Eclipso wants. He wants you to, like... He wants to destroy you. He wants to destroy what you stand for, being good and helping. Like, you know, how he broke down them. He, like, destroyed them. Even though he was they, he was able to, like, they were the, the old JSA were able to put him, him away, it destroyed who they morally were. And he doesn't want that for them. And that's just so strong. But, you know, you got to talk about the Cameron and uh, Mike situation. That shit was, okay, like, so I was not, I was not I... shocked. Me and Zach both thought that Cameron would have been Courtney's weakness because she, I mean, like that had that whole that whole. I thought it. That's what I thought from the from the yeah. you know, the next episode, yeah, the and, preview. I thought yeah, it was Courtney's. And, yeah, and Mike said, "You can go, to, go to see Courtney," and he, I will. And then he just like he like took it. He took he put out the fire with his with his freeze ca- breath. Freeze oh. breath. <laughs> oh, like shit. He tried to kill Mike. But I, I knew it wasn't him. I was like, damn. I was like, you know, it kind of like, 
I don't know. In a way, I was like, but I how, want this to be savored I because I, how, I can't wait for that moment when he ends up, that, ends up finding out. How is Cameron Mike's weakness? I think Cameron's Mike's weakness is because he he's been saying he's been feeling guilty and has not meant to kill Icicle, and I feel like he under, he sees what Cameron's going through and he kind of regrets doing that. So it's like it's like he regrets doing that because he's like oh because uh, he even understands like if he lost Pat that would destroy him and he, and he can he can only imagine how Cameron feels that his dad's gone and he didn't mean to do that so it's like his one regret is doing that and like leaving a kid pretty much you know an orphan essentially so it's like he feels he feels guilty i know but in a way he kind of is because he doesn't have like his parents and stuff and i feel like he feels like he he did he, like you know what I mean? he feels guilty and that's a part of the guilt is that you took you took out icicle but yet you you left a kid without his father and could you imagine how mike would feel if he didn't have his father and that's what Cam cameron was saying to him well, could you imagine if you didn't have your father anymore or your mother how what that would do to you you know what i mean so he's kind of like in a way subconsciously and also eclipso using the knowledge of you know him killing whatever and using the knowledge on what mike's been going through and pretty much using that against him i'm building on top of the fear uh, or on top of his guilt of you know killing icicle which i really did love because i was like a building on top he's like putting layers and layers on top of even what the, their small guilts were it's becoming bigger and bigger because he's like getting at their history of their life on top of what they went through it's yeah like he's, he's, he's a great villain great villain uh, my like one of my favorite um parts was Barb because like she was like her car like stopped yeah and she was seeing and hearing Jordan yeah and then um he's like Barb we have some unfinished business and he like froze up her entire car yeah and she's like I know you're not your dad you're not really here I know it's Eclipse so. yeah we and then like. And then the end, Shade's there. He, 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 Shade's he, like, yeah, it's like, just start your car. He's not there. Just do it. Just do it. Start your car and go home. And then he said, I need Emily. Yeah, which I think that's what I heard. I couldn't really, it was hard to tell what he said. I think, I, I, I had to replay it like three times. I think he said, I need Emily. And I, I thought for a second, I was like, did he mean Courtney? Like, he needs Courtney or something? I'm like, I'm confused. Wait, yeah. isn't Emily, um, no, no. No, that's Jade. I'm thinking about Jade. My bad, my bad. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know who you're talking about. Because I thought Emily was Dunder Minnesota. Something. Honor. I, I didn't know I who you up, meant by Emily. I looked it up, and uh, Dunder Minnesota isn't Emily. His daughter is named Rebecca. So, yeah, I, I really don't know. If you guys have some insight, maybe, and something we're missing, maybe, I don't know. I didn't really hear it that well. Um, but he's not clearly dead. I guess he's still there and he's trying to heal himself or we're going to get a little bit more of an insight next week's episode because we see him like in a full like smoke form with eyes and stuff and the hat on and but it's I don't know. We get Jade back. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I, to I told you guys, this was I told you, I remember saying, I said it. I said, what's going to happen is, is either Jade is going to, it, 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 Jade and and Courtney are going to be the ones to take out Eclipsa with their brightness, with their with their light. Well, I said the ri her with the ring, or her just with herself, and you know, of course, Courtney with the staff. Where she's going to help Courtney reunite. I think she's going to help Courtney reunite the staff. Something is going to happen. I'm thinking she's going to help her reunite it, or she's going to help take out Eclipsa with the both of their lights. I said something is going to happen with Jade. I'm like she is. She's bound to come back. I was like she's not done yet. So she's going to be a big key part to take out Eclipse, so I think I might have been right. Yeah. I don't know how many episodes we have left. I, 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 I don't I know. know. I think we have a, still, uh, still a couple. Because um, this was only episode nine, so I think we have still have a, a, a bit left. Um, Which I'm so, so happy we did. But that's... I don't want anything else to say. Other than, you know, I am excited for the moment when we do find that when Cameron does find out that, you know, Courtney's been lying yeah. and that how his dad did die. That's why I was kind of annoyed that, you know, we saw kind of that moment, and I... I kind of would have wished it could have been real almost because I feel like that would have been a cool moment for Courtney to come down stairs and be like, what the heck? And, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be a bigger, even bigger moment. Like a holy crap moment when he does find out and she's going to be like, I'm sorry. I, I, you know what I mean? And try to explain. He's like, yeah. he's like, you're lying or whatever. And some, yeah. Something like that's going to happen. And it's like, I feel like he won't. I don't think he's going to forgive her once he does find out. I think he might be a villain. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping that's where it leads because I need, I need a villain. I need, like, you know, like, I need the the, the the injustice to still be a villain thing. I still yeah. need that because I, we try, they tried rebuilding the injustice. Sid, Sid, uh, I, was, I always don't know how to say her name sometimes. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Cindy. There Cindy. we go. Cindy. Oh my God. Um, so 
it's been a long day <laughs> so cindy I, like she tried rebuilding the injustice it didn't work out they got their ass kicked it didn't last long you know isaac died um what's the what's the what's the what's the daughter's name um artemis artemis left <laughs> she i don't know who she who knows where she went cindy's in the darkness cindy's in the darkness i i don't know i don't think that team is gonna um come back for a while <laughs> I, I, I don't think so but that's all i have to but say but yeah i just also, where is Sylvester? The one we've been seeing. Where when's he coming in? I wanna know. I think that's gonna be such a big holy shit moment to Pat. Like who what the heck? For yeah. instance, I think they at first they might think this is just uh Eclipse of playing tricks on me and they'll be like, no, Pat, actually me, dude. It's actually yeah. me. Um so I'm I'm thinking if it if it is, I'm wondering if it actually is, you know, Sylvester, we don't know yet. And we mm -hmm. don't know when he's gonna pop in. I really expected more, though, seeing... I want to see more of, like... It would be cool just to see a show about the old JSA members. Yeah. I would kill for a show like that. About the old JSA members and the missions they went on. I would kill for a show like that. Like, it could be, like, a five-episode series. I don't care. Like, a little, like... I don't even care. I just need to know what they... All the adventures they went on. I want to know. Also... Yeah. Uh, Joel McHale became a series regular. Joel McHale, the guy that plays Sylvester. Oh, yeah, okay. He came a series, became a series regular. I'm so happy about that. I love Joel McHale. He's awesome. I love him in Community. Uh, Jeff Winger, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I love Community. It's so great. So great. I um, like... Uh, yeah. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy Chase. Chevy yeah, Chase. Yeah, funny, because Chevy Chase plays Clark Griswold and... Because yeah. uh, it's a vacation movie our family watches but guys if there's any community fans in here i'd love to talk to you guys about community i, I love community i don't Me watch my I, that's i i, I non-stop watch it on netflix it's on repeat all the time i don't watch it but i do like Chevy oh it's so freaking funny oh my god but, talk about peak like like comedy <laughs> it's so freaking but funny but we're gonna end it here tomorrow yeah. we will not be watching yes video. guys tomorrow Thursday will be Unfortunately, um, for us, for you River, Riverdale fans out there, I, uh, our finale review will be postponed until Thursday. I know people might be upset, a little upset about that, but, um, tomorrow I'm see, I got the, I got a chance to see James Bond on a Wednesday. With our sister, um, you know, with our, my, dad, my sister, our my little brother, and my dad, and our, our dad, or, you know, our little brother, and our older sister, and our dad. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to see James Bond. I might get a review out for that. I'm not sure. I still, I, I, I still haven't really talked about Let There Be Carnage. I like the movie. I just don't know if I'm going to, I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a review for yeah, that. Yeah, so this day. Because I've just been busy with a ton of other things. Um, tonight is actually, um. What if? What if. So I will be staying up tonight for that. Tonight's the finale of What If. I would love to do like you know once i'm done editing this video and put, putting it up i would love to get on you know instagram live maybe talk to everybody about predictions for what if so if you guys are what if fans um i, I should I, I might get on instagram live later on my instagram is down in the comments below um so you know go subscribe to my instagram my tiktok's down there my twitch is down there i would like to start doing more you know instagram lives on instagram and especially if you guys want me to start doing more instagram live so we can like talk personally and you guys can actually, I can invite you guys into the chat and we can like FaceTime. I'll get to meet when you guys, um, you know, I'll get to meet you guys, you know, meet face to face. And we can talk about, you know, you know, you know, you know, what's going on. You guys can ask me questions and stuff and on Instagram live and stuff. So yeah, I guess so just make sure you guys follow my Instagram, you know? Yeah. So also shoot me a text if there's something you want me to talk about or whatever, or like if you guys get any news about any you know, anything about star girl riverdale you know marvel anything dc legacies anything, anything legacies anything any any awesome content then you know i like just send it to me on my instagram i'll check it out and and if yeah if i like it i'll make a video about it but yeah just you know let's like i would love to start communicating with you guys more i mean yeah I, like you know what i mean I, I i love i love it when people communicate down in the comments below because i want this to be a fun place where we can all talk about things that we love and talk about the shows that we love and just anything going on even just life in general we could talk about but guys again um if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel point those notifications like this video we're almost to 400 subscribers i'm really trying to get to 400 before um i would like to get to 400 before the end of october and i want to get to 800 before the end of this year i know it's a big ask guys but guys i'm really trying to grow this family here on this channel I'm really trying to grow this community um, of you know spreading love, positivity, and motivation. We're at so we can do this. We can do this. We're at three seventy-five. 
right, yeah, I'm at, I'm at 375. Um, so yeah, I would just, I would really, really love it if you guys subscribe to the channel. It really helps out the channel. Again, like the videos because it really helps the algorithm. It really helps, you know, boost the content up so people can find it and, you know, people can watch it and join the family. Um, and again, if you like this video, share it with your friends, your family, go share this with the, you know, everybody that's involved with Stargirl. Let them know we love this show and they're doing a phenomenal job. Um, let them know that you got, they, they have the, the Krabby Patty secret formula and they need to stick to it because I don't want the show becoming The Flash. And it really annoys me because see, when I saw Jay Garrick let, on here, I was so happy. I was like, damn, The Flash let's sucks get so bad. a Star Girl musical episode. Uh-uh. No. D don't say that. Don't, I, I don't need that. I don't need that. So don't give them ideas for that. I don't, I don't want a musical episode. I, that's a last thing. Like, a I hate musical episodes. And I episode. give a musical episode for Superman and Lois. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Don't listen to her on that. Just, just block that out. Block that out. But um, but guys, that was the video. We'll see, um, yeah, we'll see you Thursday. I hope Thursday. everybody has a great day, a safe day. We'll see you guys Thursday for the finale of Riverdale. Um, I would, I would, I would do a late, you know, review, but she's not gonna be up by the time I get back. I'm in bed. She'll be in bed. I I won't I won't be in the in the in, like in the like in a, in a like, I, like I don't want to stay up even later to do the finale. That's what I'm gonna no, I'm not getting out of bed for him. Also, the video. kids will be in school, so we'll be able to do it early, yeah. get it done with. It will be a little bit. It'll be a little bit more peace and quiet because sometimes you might hear noise in the background in our videos because we, we have a, a how literally it's this house full of kids. Maybe we will. So, yeah. Maybe we'll do our video in a different room too. I don't know. Maybe if it's nice out tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be nice Thursday. Uh, well, well, you'll 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 know where we are on Thursday, but yeah, that Thursday. was the video, guys. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to hear down in the comments below what you guys thought about this Obviously. episode. Let me know down in the comments below which scene did you like the most of Eclipso messing with? Did you like it more with you know Bar Pat, Barb, Mike? Mike. Um, it's weird. Is it a coincidence that Courtney's not getting messed with? Is there a reason for that? I think there is. All right, I think well, there's something there. Well, we'll but guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, day a safe day. day. We'll see, see you guys next time. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.